Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I figured I would film one more video before I go out of town to Montana. So I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow palette collection. I'm not gonna declutter anything in this video. So um, it's not gonna be a declutter video. I do need to declutter some palettes when I come back. So I thought it might be kind of fun to go through the whole collection, you can see what I have. I'll tell you how many palettes I have and we can look at them and then hopefully it'll be a little bit easier for me to get this down um, when I come back. But before we get started, make sure you are subscribed and yeah, we're going to get in the collection video right now. Okay, before we get started, I do still have two giveaways that are currently live. The Too Faced unboxing has a giveaway and my Ipsy, my current Ipsy video has a giveaway. So if you haven't entered those, make sure you do. And yeah, um, we're just going to get into it. So this, if you haven't seen, is where I store my makeup. This is just one of those double craft cart things. This is probably a little bit better of an angle anyway, but my eyeshadow palettes are all on this side. There's five drawers. Um, and yeah, we're just going to go through it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to declutter anything, but we'll see what we got. There's three palettes that are missing. Um, they're in my luggage. My luggage is actually right here. So I'm taking my Huda Obsession Smoke Palette, which is one of these little ones. And then two of my Kaleidos palettes are missing, but everything else is in here. So let's just dive in. This top drawer is all smaller palettes. So that's what's in here. Um, first off, we have the mini Jawbreaker, which I like. I've used this once. Um, the shades in here are fine. It's a purple and orange palette, but... I don't know if that's one like long term that I'm going to keep. I need to use it more. There's the new alternative rock palette that is in the Ipsy giveaway. So if you haven't seen it, it's a face and eye palette neutral. I like the balm palette, so I wanted to try this one. I have another balm palette, the Meat Matchmaker. Palette. It's just a little, another neutral palette. Their formula is really good. It's a nice everyday palette. I've got a bunch of these nine pan color pop ones. We've got the pink one. I don't know if I need to open all of these. There's pink. Um, I'm not going to open all the color pop ones because I'm sure everybody's seen them. I've got the green one, blue. The purple, not the lilac. This is the original. I don't know. If it's, is it going to bother anybody that my face isn't in the frame and just my mouth? So I've got purple and I bought the smoke palette on sale. I haven't used this one yet. So this is brand new. Haven't swatched it. Haven't touched it. And then the yellow. I don't believe that I've ever used this either. And I don't think I've touched it either. Yeah, no, I've never touched it. So I have quite a few Huda palettes. Like I said, the smoke one is in my luggage, but I have the mauve palette. I have emerald. I um, emerald is probably the first one I got. I've mentioned it in videos before. Mike's favorite color is green, so I tend to buy green makeup occasionally to wear when he's home occasionally <laughs> so if you're wondering why you see green periodically that's why I did get the blue one as an add-on because this is one that I wanted and then I also the uh, another one that I was looking at was the ruby obsession which is more of a I would say more of a pinky berry tone than the true red I have a mini balm palette but I love this if I don't have a transition shade, I use this one. Uh, this is their smoke, smoke bomb. 
If I don't have a highlight shade for under my brow bone, I use this one, and this is just a good little, this was an add-on, um, like bonus when I signed up for Tribe year, you know, a year ago. I use this palette all the time. I will repurchase this when I hit pan because I use it that much. It's good. It's a good little three shadow palette, and I don't really use small palettes. I have the mini white chocolate bar. I will never declutter this even though I don't use this anymore because all of these colors are in the full size chocolate bar. But this was when Mike and I first started dating. This is what he bought me for our first Valentine's Day. And I messed up two of the shadows. But like I said, all of these colors are in the full size. But I keep it for sentimental, sentimental purposes. I have the hot buttered rum. I'm not going to go into every palette extensively because we'll be here for a million years. Sugar cookie from last Christmas. A good little palette. I might put this in my makeup bag that I'm taking, so I'm going to set that over there. Um, I have the Too Faced Honey palette, and I, I only used this once, and I didn't like it the one time I used it, but I keep it because Mike likes honey. There's no other reason that I still have this. Like I said, I used it one time. I didn't use it with eyeshadow primer. So there's that. But I've been afraid to use it ever since. And this was like three years ago. But then I keep it because Mike is obsessed with honey. And then I have the original peanut butter and jelly. And I never use this one either. But this is one that I like lusted after because it was so big on YouTube. And... Again, the purple shades in here don't have really good staying power. But again, I don't know if I was using eyeshadow primer at that time. So, there's that. So, a couple of Tarte palettes. I have the Tarte Sizzle. I bought this because I didn't get this one in the BoxyCharm when we got the Tarte Rainforest palettes. And I bought it because I had to have it because it looked pretty. I've swatched it, but I don't remember if I've actually put this on my eyes after all of that. All that. I hunted it down, ended up buying it brand new on Tarte's website. I don't know if I've ever actually used it. This is one that I will probably keep when I was living by myself and I was rebuilding my makeup collection. This is a high-end palette that I saved up for. This is their Unicorn Make Believe in Yourself. It's a couple years old. It's still good. It's a pretty pastel palette, so I keep it and it's also sentimental to me from a time when I didn't have this many palettes. After I'm done with the first drawer, I will tell you how many palettes are hard. You won't have to wait till the end. When I bought Sizzle, I also bought this. This was when I had a hard time finding a good deal on Poshmark, so I just paid full price. This is the Love, Trust, and Fairy Dust. I do use this one a lot because I like pinky, mauve colors. Everyday neutral palette, but it's good. Again, I like berry shades. I like pinks, mauves. Mike likes green, so I go both way, both directions. I have the Lime Crime Pocket Candy Lemonade, pink, pink lemonade? Yeah, pink lemonade. This isn't a super versatile palette. You're not going to get a ton of looks out of this, but when I've worn this, I've gotten compliments on it, and these shadows are really nice, and they're pretty. I was born in the 80s. I grew up in the 90s. I... I do like this palette. I've used it a handful of times, but I mainly keep it because it looks like a Polly Pocket. But it is good. Um, Laura Lee's Sleigh Bell palette. This is a really good palette. If it's available next Christmas, I recommend getting it. The quality of these, is it, they're super pigmented. It's a really nice little palette. And I have her Party Animal. This came in a boxy charm. It's not the greatest formula, but I like having these extra neon shades. And like even the yellow and orange are good over um, warmer when I do candy corn eyes to kind of bring them into the more neutral realm if my yellow is too warm. If that makes sense. This neutralizes it. So it's, I've held on to this because I use it once in a while, not on its own, but I've pulled it in to do other looks. And then I have this Wander Beauty Wondrous Seascape. I haven't actually used it, but I think I've kept it because I want to try and use it in the spring. Very pretty, very shimmery. We're supposed to be getting, I think, another one of these in the Tri Box next month that also looks pretty. It's very, very shimmery for me. I should probably put that closer to the top. Maybe I'll actually use it. The 
two Kaleidos palettes I have in here are the Sci-Fi Green, which I actually used today. Um, I showed this palette to Mike, and I don't know that he wasn't super excited because it's a grungy green. If you were to take him and me and make a palette, this is probably what it would look like. It would be a grungy green palette. So, I like it. Again, these little Kaleidos palettes are not... Like super versatile on their own. They're only six shades. Nah, here's turquoise again. I think I messed that up. Oh, okay. Yeah, it goes like this. I always want to put the insert in wrong. Here's turquoise. I didn't realize that Kaleidos had done a full size palette at one point. I wish that was still available because I would buy it because their formula is really good two more palettes um I keep these because again I had purchased at least this top one when I didn't have as much eyeshadow I really really wanted it I never use this but it's shaped like a coffin this is from Lunatic Cosmetics Labs this is the Supernatural palette I believe yeah so it's it's a mauve palette again not super versatile Nice, good quality. And then the other one that I really, really wanted was the Elvira palette. So again, I've only used this a couple of times. This isn't super cohesive. I have a hard time making a look, but it's got a cute little pop-up and it's Elvira. I did meet her at Comic-Con once. Oh, and I didn't even realize this was under there. There's the Ace Beauté, the little eight pan palette we got in a boxy charm. Should probably not put that on the very bottom didn't even know it was down there. Forgot I moved it over. Okay. Oh, I need to put it on the bottom because it didn't fit me down real well. I need to probably re relocate that to a different drawer. It just doesn't want to fit well, so I'll put it up here. Um, I got a couple of Dose of Color palettes. This is the Snow Angels. I repurchased this because I bought this on Poshmark and this shade was broken, just completely shattered. The palette's been a mess. I tried to repress it. I put too much alcohol in it when I repressed it and it's still a mess. I have it in my declutter box because the other four shades are still fine, but I repurchased it. I've actually never used it because it was a mess. I want to see, I you know bought a new one for a good deal on Poshmark. I want to see now if maybe I can use it it, it's very pigmented. It's all matte. And then I have the Marvelous Mauves that we got in a box of charm again. All matte palette, but I've never used either of these. So my friend Lauren bought me this for Christmas two years ago. This is the classic cutie from MAC. I haven't tried this yet still. I need to. It's very light and pastel-y, but the shimmers look really nice, so I do need to try it. But I will probably never get rid of this because um, my friend bought it for me. Anything anybody actually buys me. Now, a couple of the palettes Lauren gave me that she decluttered, um, I passed a few of them on. But anything anybody buys me, I tend to keep just for sentimental purposes. I have Naked Heat. Everybody's probably seen it. And then Naked Cherry. Again, it's a pinky, berry, mauve -y. This had mixed reviews. I like the cherry palette. Again, it's not super versatile. You're not going to get a ton of unique looks out of it, but I, I like these shades. So, and then I've been wanting Naked Heat, so I got a good deal on it on Poshmark. I didn't need it, but it's one I've looked at. I just didn't want to pay full price for. So that's the small palettes. I have 119 palettes. That is what the count was last night. This one, I think I'll put in this drawer. So we have, let's do the bigger ones in the back. We've got the Venus XL. I think I showed this in my last video. Um, this is good. The shimmers are not anything to get excited about, but this is a pretty palette. I wanted it for a long, long time. I'm not as blown away as I thought I would, but I like the color scheme, so I'm gonna keep it and try and make it work. 
There's the Glam Lights, their Miracle palette that they did for breast cancer. I haven't tried this yet, but I like the other Glam Light palette that I own. And again, it's pinks. So their shimmer formula is really good. So I need to try this. I have the Sunrise palette from Folklore Beauty. This is a dupe for the nude, new nude palette from Huda Beauty. This is a good palette. And this is like $12 really really good um I had some requests to do like a three look one palette and I never got around to it let me know if anybody would still want to see that and I can definitely do that it's a really really nice palette and it's a lot cheaper I have my pumpkin spice palette from this year I don't didn't like this one as much as the one from last year but I'm keeping it because this seems to be a new thing that Too Faced has started, so if there is a third Pumpkin Spice palette, I will be purchasing it. This is one of my favorite palettes. This is the original Pumpkin Spice. I love this palette so much. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to hold on to this one even though I don't use it a lot just because if they do release a third one, I will get it to review and I'll need to compare it to these. But I've got both of them. What's the tea from the balm? I did a first impression try it Tuesday video. I like this. I need to use it again. The shimmers in here. There you go. Very, very nice. And then you have a neutral base and a black base, which is really cool because a black under any of these golds or even this one will make them look different than if you were to put them on a neutral base. So that's cool. And then my Violet Loss Pro, which is a very similar color scheme to the original Pumpkin Spice palette. Cranberries, earthy tones. I could probably let one of these go, but I don't know that I want to because I have different formulas. And I like both of them. So that's why they're still here. And this is why I need to separate palettes into color families because I really need to take a hard look at, yes, I like both of them, but do I need both of them? And I need to get this number down. 119 is excessive and ridiculous. Um, there's the Colored Rain, Queen of Hearts. This one's just okay. Um... This purple that I was most excited about is very dry in mine, so I need to play with this more, but the shimmers are really good. So I need to use it some more, but I'm glad I didn't pay full price. I got it on Black Friday. Um, I don't know if I just got an older palette or if that's they're just a drier matte formula. I don't know. I have Laura Lee's Nudie Patootie. I like this. I got this on sale. Um, it was like a Mother's Day, I think. But this is really good. She has a really good formula. Even if you don't like her, this is a good palette. Her mini, her sleigh bell palette's good too. I still have the Too Faced Life is a Festival. It is a unicorn palette. I like unicorns. I like horror movies. Nightmare Before Christmas. Black, pink, and unicorns. So I bought this mainly because it was a unicorn palette. But it's also very pretty. I like these colors. I used this palette when I was still in beauty school a few times, and every time I used it, I got compliments. It is a nice palette, and it has like a fruity smell to it, so that's nice. I have Too Faced's Anniversary Palette. People hate this, I think, because of the size, but this is a good quality palette. I like this palette. Again, I've never done a bad look from using this. It is big. Like, it's bigger than my face. But it's a good palette. Okay, so we've got Too Faced Natural Eyes. I used to use this all the time. This was my, if I was in a hurry, go to palette. It's a nice everyday palette. We have the new Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk. This is a new one, haven't used it yet. It's a very similar color scheme to what's in, what is this, the Grandiose palette. So when I declutter, this one may be going bye-bye because I have this one and it's bigger and there's more shades in here. But it's not exactly the same, but it's 
definitely a similar color family. So I'll have to take a look at that. And then I also got the Vintage Dawn as an add-on. Earthy, grungier tones. I haven't tried either one of these. Celestial Thunder from Dominique Cosmetics. Also BoxyCharm palette. This is good. The Zodiac palette from ColourPop. I will never declutter the, this palette for this gold shade. This is the only true cool tone gold I own. I was recreating an eye look from Make Me Up Missa and I went through every single palette I owned. This is the only gold I own that looks like this with 119 palettes. I will never declutter this for that one shade. Um, Dream Street, I like. I don't reach for it. I should probably start to let go some of my color pop palettes. I have the Villain palette. I don't really like, I have a hard time. It's not that I don't like this palette. I have a hard time doing a cohesive look with just this palette because there's only five mattes and it's a white. These two, the blue and the black. Um, but the shimmers are nice, so I don't know. I've held on to it because a lot of people like it, and it's an issue I've had with ColourPop in the past. A lot of people like some of their palettes, and I just don't always. I have the All I See is Magic. I haven't used this one yet. This color scheme looks very pretty. It's neutrally. I haven't used it yet. Whatever I have used once, excuse me, good as gold I was going to use today, and then decided to do the um, sci-fi green one, so I haven't used this one either. Through My Eyes is a good palette. I've used it once. I like it. And then I have the Tetris and Ipsy collab. I keep this because it's an 80s themed palette. Um, I don't know. I think I may have used this once. It doesn't look like I've used it, so I maybe I haven't. I think I was going to use it, and then I didn't. So I might need to just let this one go. And then I have a highlighter from this collection, but it's like gold, like gold, gold, like one of Jeffree Star's dark gold highlighters. It's too dark for my skin tone, so that probably, I kept it on my head, was thinking, oh, I'll use it as eyeshadow or make it work. Yeah, no, I just need to let it go. Okay, moving on to drawer number three. We're getting into some bigger palettes. We've got Jeffree Star's Blood Sugar. Um, quick little story. I was super disappointed when I got this palette. I had wanted it for a year. And I was able to get it on a restock. I was at school. I had like five minutes to spare in between clients. Happened to be at just the right time. I ordered it. I remember telling Mike, I was so excited. I finally got it. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have all these reds and pinks. There's one, two, three actual red shades and one pink. So I have issues because like these are pretty, but I was, and again, I looked at this palette for a year and I was like, why is there no red? Like this top row is all neutrals. This is a neutral palette with some color. And then we've got some burgundies, this like fuchsia-y color, but there's, I was thinking there was more red and pink than there actually is. So that's why I don't use this palette because I'm mad at it, but it's a good palette. The formula is good. The looks that I do with it are nice. There's not as many red shadows in it as I thought there were. I did get Blue Blood on sale on Beautylish. There are more blues in this one than there are reds in Blood Sugar, so that makes me happy. I've used this twice. This is very pigmented, so we'll get real drag queen-y real quick on you if you're not careful. That happened to me the second time I used it. Not that that's bad, but it's very intense, and I'm not necessarily the kind of person that can pull that <laughs> look off all the time. Storybook Cosmetics. Got this in a boxy charm. I need to play with it some more. I used it once. It's okay. I don't know that it's worth the $55, but this one is pretty. I like the colors that are in here. I have one from La Rock. This is one that Mike bought me. So, and Beauty and the Beast is my favorite Disney movie. So this is the Disney. 
palette. I still have the brush that goes in here somewhere, but, and I have the blush and highlighter set that goes with this, but I've only used this a couple of times just because the pans are so small and I like didn't want it to run out, but I need to use this more, but I will never, um, even when it expires, I'll just put it in a box because Anytime anybody goes out of their way to buy me makeup, I will keep it forever. Like the original chocolate bar, Mike bought me this for Christmas. He knew I really wanted it. Did mine warp? I feel like mine is warped. Maybe I had it in the desk wrong. Okay. I think it bent or something, but I don't know why it would have bent. I don't know. The original chocolate bar, the lid seemed weird. But I will never get rid of that. Um, Sweet Peach. So when I was rebuilding my collection, this was like one of the second palettes I bought. Again, I will probably never get rid of that. When I found out I got into beauty school, I bought myself Chocolate Bonbon. I like this as a cool tone palette. It looks like my daughter may have stuck her finger in that one a little bit. And that could be why the lid on this one is messed up. She probably grabbed it. because it... I feel like it, the lid is warped slightly, but yeah, my daughter may have grabbed it. But the shadows aren't messed up. Um, Mike... For my birthday two years ago, got me Gingerbread Spice in their Holiday Lip Collection. So I have this. This one's really good too. And then because I have a sentimental attachment to the mini white chocolate chip, when the full size came out, I had to have it. So you can see there's the black. All of the shades that are in the mini palette are in here plus others. So I will never get rid of any of my chocolate bar palettes. There's a bunch of ABH. My mother-in-law bought me the Carly Bible palette for Christmas. This got mixed reviews. I like it. I've used it twice. I've gotten some really pretty looks with it. I don't have any problems with it. Um, I bought myself Riviera when it came out. I was really excited when I saw pictures of this palette. Very, very pretty. Um, I Like a year or two ago, I bought Modern Renaissance. I was late. Late, late, late. To this train but I do have it it's a good fall palette um, one of my friends gave me a Sephora gift card when I graduated beauty school so I bought Norvina I've only used it once but I really like the pinks and purples in here it's very pretty I need to use this more I have one it's a wave of beauty palette I decluttered my others this is the block party I realized this morning, this kind of reminds me of the Beauty Killer palette from Jeffree Star. There's some similar shades in here. I've never used this palette. My daughter, it looks like, stuck her finger in it, or I stuck my finger in the purple shade, but I've never actually put this on my eyes. This gives me, like, 80s vibes. I think that's why I've held on to it. I like some of the shades in here, but again, I've never actually used it. I have the Desi and Katie Dose of Color Fornication Palette. I think this is nice. I don't know that the shimmers are as amazing as, you know, they're not. I have other shimmers that I think are beyond these, but these are good. Like, this is a good palette. The formula is good. I don't think it's the end-all be-all. Some people think it's the end-all be-all, which is fine. Everybody's opinion is different. Um, I have my Jaclyn Hill Vault collection still. I have all four palettes. I won't pull all four of those out, but I have all four palettes still. So that is the end of that drawer. Two more to go. We're getting into bigger and bigger here. All of my Juvia's Place palettes are in this drawer. So I have Nubian 3, which is a coral and gray palette. I've used this once. I think I used the peachy pink colors. I got this um, for myself when I went for training, when my, I got my job at Supercuts. This was one of those palettes that I said if I was either going to let myself buy it if I could get it on sale online or I could buy it in person. So I bought it in person at Ulta up in Tucson. 
I have the Saharan palette. I got this on Poshmark. I've never used this. This color scheme in here is pretty, but it's not like, I don't know. I don't quite understand, but this is one of those palettes that people have like raved about. So I need to see if I can make a look out of this. I have the original Nubian palette when I got my job. I got this. It was on sale for like $8. I've never used this. This is their neutral palette. Very pretty. I need to actually try it or let it go probably. I have a hard time letting go. of. I've never gotten rid of a Juvia's Place palette. So I have Zulu. I like all of these palettes more towards summer and fall. So I use these more during that time. But Festival. We're getting a little grungier. The Tribe, you can guess why I bought this. This is one of my first palettes when I was rebuilding my collection. This is my Midnight Masquerade Mini. I will probably repurchase this when I run out. I like that there's the neutral warm bottom and then the colorful top row. So I really like this palette. And then last but not least, we have the Nubian 2. I've used this a handful of times. Again, this is a nice neutral palette. I think I bought Nubian just so that I would have all the Nubian palettes, but I'm, again, I've never used it. I got the three, three of the mini Venus palettes. I guess they're not the mini, the Venus palettes. I have the, the original Venus. I haven't tried this one. No, I just used the XL. I haven't used any of these. I used one of the shades out of three when I was using the XL palette. There's two. I got a good deal on these. It was a set on Poshmark, so I bought them because I've been wanting to try them. I like buying used makeup on there because I'm never going to use it up and the person that's selling it only used it a tiny bit. Absolutely no qualms getting a little more life out of it. My friend Lauren was kind enough to give me Moon Dust, which I love. Awesome glitter toppers. So pretty. This is still available. I like this a lot. People either love this or they hate it. Lauren also gave me Smoked, which I have used and I do like. It's very grungy. It's a really cool green. I hunted down this palette for six months. This is Lottie London's Living My Best Life. This was a collab palette. Never used it. So you got shimmers and mattes. Make Me at Missa recommended this. I said hunted it down for six months. And I've never used it. Um, the Urban Decay Electric palette. I got this on Poshmark used it a lot. Mine is still good. This is an old palette. It's discontinued, but it's good. I like the neon shades in here. still works. I have the two soap palettes. I have the original and the extra spice. I've used both of these in looks on my channel. I like both of them. And there's the original. The original soap palette isn't available anymore. I got mine on Posh. <coughs> it's still available on there if anybody's interested. I have the BH Cosmetics Royal Affairs. I haven't tried this yet. I haven't tried anything from BH Cosmetics. I have two palettes, so I need to try one of them. This is the Glam Light palette. I have tried this is the Alondra Desi palette. This is good. I like the colors in here. I like the formula. The mattes are really blendable. The shimmers are really nice. That's why I'm excited to try it. Their shimmers are very soft. Like this one was broken. I just repressed it, but they're really good. This was one of my first palettes. I was buying palette, you know, rebuilding my collection. I will keep this till it expires. It's old, but this was one of the first palettes. This the Midnight Masquerade, the Masquerade Mini from Juvia's Place, and then the Peach Palette were the, at one point, were the only three eyeshadow palettes I owned. And I 
119. The Tarte Clay Play, I probably need to put this in my face palette drawer and I might actually use it more because I'll probably use the bronzers in here more than I will use this for eyeshadow. So I probably need to relocate that. Give Me Glow's Christmas palette. Their formula is really, really good. I will say that their metallics are very flaky, but very, very good. I love this palette. This When this came out, this is one of the first palettes I was excited about in a long time, but this is their Christmas morning palette. I have one from Alamar Cosmetics. This came in a BoxyCharm, really good palette. I do have the Morphe and Manny MUA. I haven't tried it yet. Very, very nice. I might leave that one out and try and use that tomorrow. Um, pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. This is a cool tone gray palette. I love this palette. Again, BoxyCharm. I use this one a lot. And then my new Tarte High Tides palette that I used my gift card for that I got for Christmas. So this is brand new. I haven't touched it yet. And then that's just, you could just sit here and do that for <laughs> an hour. <laughs> oh, let me just stop playing. Oh, please. Normally I don't take them all out, so it's not quite so bad. That's the only bad thing with these drawers being plastic is they start to slide a little bit, but oh, let's put the Juvia's ones there. Yeah, I probably could let a couple of them go, but I like that I have them all, even though I don't use them all. I don't know, it's silly. Now we're in the last drawer, and this is the big the big palette drawer. My new Game of Thrones palette that I got on Nordstrom, Nordstrom Rack. I might leave this one out too. Maybe I'll use that one tomorrow instead of the Morphe palette. My one of my top five favorite palettes. I hate the pack. I don't hate the packaging. I think it's cute packaging. It's I hate storing it. I love the Alien palette so so much. Again, if all my makeup disappeared, I would be repurchasing this. This palette brings me so much happiness and joy. I would say I want to leave this one out too and maybe use it tomorrow, but then I won't use the Game of Thrones. I have my ABH Volume 3. Mike got me this for my birthday. Lots of neons, so I can probably let some of my neon palettes go that I'm not using just because I have this. This is good quality. I like this one. I have my Kat Von D Saint and Sinner. I will probably not declutter this even though I've only used it like three times. Her brand has changed. She's left the company. I like the quality of this. The color scheme's all over the place. It's a little but hodgepodge, but I want to use it more. And like I said, um, her quality hasn't been the same, so I want to keep this and try and use it. got my Morphe. Boss Mood. Lauren bought me this um, when I went up Phoenix to do my test for my practical to get my license. I love this like grungy fall toned palette. So she bought me this one and I really like it. I've used it a bunch of times. I have Jawbreaker. This palette is a little temperamental. Um, licorice is a little bit patchy. Um, delicious is a little bit patchy. Um, but I do like it. I did a really pretty rainbow-ish eye the other day. Um, I This is a palette that you should probably go down with wet concealer instead of just like the MAC Paint Pot. But I'm still working with this. It's uh, There's a lot of pressed pigments in here, so the formula is a little bit fickle. We have the Jaclyn Hill, or the original palette. I like this palette. I use this quite a bit in the fall. 
still good. Definitely better than the vault palettes, although I didn't have the issues that a lot of people had. Zodiac. I haven't used this yet. Like I said, I have two BH Cosmetics. Um, I got the Royal Affairs one first because I just wanted to have one to try them, but I got this at Mar Marshalls. Um, I haven't used it yet. I did finally get the Zodiac Love off of Poshmark. That's the one I really, really wanted, so I'll have to do some videos with the Zodiac palettes now that I've finally got both of them. And then last, we have the Such a Gem, the 39S. It's the pink and purple palette. I hate... I just scraped through that. I hate how big this palette is. It's gigantic, but it probably has every pink shade I could ever want. I need to make sure the quality is good before I like... Oh, I have this one. Let me get rid of this one. So I need to try it before... There's a few palettes I need to try before I do my declutter video. That way I can say, yes, I have this palette. It's good. I don't need this palette or this palette. So, because I would hate to get rid of a palette and then because I'm like, oh, I have this other one and then the other one not be good, if that makes sense. So yeah, that is all 119 palettes, eyeshadow palettes. Face palettes is a whole nother ball of wax. But yeah, hopefully this video wasn't too terribly long. I tried to not talk about each palette super in depth. I didn't swatch anything because again, we would be here for days, but leave me comments if there's any palettes that anybody would like to see in depth reviews on. Have me swatch them, have me do some looks with them. Um, leave me those comments down below and I can definitely do that. If you made it this far, Leave me a little heart down below. Um, make sure you're subscribed. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I will see everybody when I get back. And I hope you all have a wonderful day. Bye, everybody.